Welcome to Moonshot Radio with your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to our first edition of Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative also known as KRC. We are a local nonprofit serving children and families from birth to age five. Our goal is to make sure that all children in Indian River County are prepared for kindergarten. We proudly partner with the Moonshot Moment, transforming the next generation of children in Indian River County by having 90% of all students reading on grade level by third grade. With me today here in the studio is one of our KRC founding board members, Carrie Bartlett. Carrie, I'm so honored to have you here. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for coming. Yes. We'd like to spend some time talking a little bit about the impetus for the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. Mm -hmm. Why Kindergarten Readiness? Well, we became aware of kindergarten readiness and the need for all children to arrive at kindergarten ready to learn and succeed through our work with the uh, third grade reading level uh, project that was initiated by the Learning Alliance and other collaborators. And we became um, concerned that many of our local children were not ready when they got to kindergarten. And so we learned that we needed to start back at zero, really at at, um, birth with the children and their families to uh, help them up that learning curve and ensure that they are um, successful in all those domains before they reach kindergarten. Carrie, that's so important for our audience to hear and understand. Let's talk a little bit about Indian River County, Mm -hmm. was there any particular research or maybe local data that really indicated that kindergarten readiness was a concern here Mm -hmm. for us in this county? Absolutely. Um, We have been studying that data over the last three to four years and very closely monitoring it. Um, Currently, we find only 44% of our local kindergartens are ready when they reach kindergarten. and only 56 are prepared when they reach third grade to move on and be successful uh, throughout their academic education. And as you said, our goal is 90% of third grade reading, and there's a big gap there. And so very intense focus has been made over the last three, four, five years on kindergarten, particularly, and those years leading up to kindergarten. Carrie, I was just listening to the news this morning and they were talking about the state average being 40% of kindergartners actually being ready right. for school and for success. So clearly the data shows that there's a lot of room for improvement and a lot of work we need to do here at the local level. Right. Well, and, and Indian River County is no different than any other community. I, I feel there's a lot of national research, as you just indicated, and a lot of national funders who are tracking this information that we are sharing our resources, our data with, and are able to look at it uh, at a mic- macro level, as well as a micro level and what's happening here, um, which is some really good bench- benchmarks for us, particularly on those days where we might feel like we're not making any progress nationally, we're being recognized for what we're doing here locally, and that's really exciting. So in spite of the challenges, there's a lot of good work that's happening here in the county. Without a doubt, without a doubt. We're so pleased. Um, We have already 40 partners that come together side by side with the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative and are working in this kindergarten space here in Indian River County. And that's what it's going to take is very clear focus but all working together in their own lanes, in their own piece of the sector to lift up these families and these children um, so that they are as successful as possible, whatever success means for them and their families. Definitely. So at the beginning of the show, I talked a little bit about our goal at the collaborative to really make sure that all children in the county are ready for kindergarten. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what was the mission and the vision that the KRC board set forth sure. for this collaborative? A collaborative is a very different, um, has a very different function than than other traditional nonprofits. And so our purpose from day one has been to convene and support our partners in developing a high quality early childhood system here in Indian River County focused on education, which takes a lot uh, into account the, the word education, because it also includes as part of our vision that these children are socially and emotionally ready when they reach kindergarten, that their physical health and well-being is not a concern so that they can focus on their academics, that they have the communication skills needed to listen, to share, to talk when they're in class, um, as well as that adaptive learning um, domain that we've been focusing on as well. And so it is a very holistic approach that is the vision for Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. Carrie, I, I like your description of a holistic approach to the child. I think sometimes we focus on cognitive development, so whether children know their colors, mm -hmm. their letters, they know how to write their name. But you talked a little bit about that social, emotional Absolutely. piece that's so important for children to be ready for success. Right, right. And that the environment in which they are being raised, that they are learning those cognitive um, skills, feels safe that they have their basic needs met, food, shelter, clothing, so that none of those potential barriers are precluding them from doing the job that they have when they reach kindergarten, which is to learn. Exactly, so that they're definitely ready to learn. And we mm -hmm. know that there are a lot of kindergartners who started in our county yesterday. Right, and they're so very exciting. Very excited, very right? excited to learn and for the school year. Mm -hmm. um, Carrie, talk a little bit about your background as a board member sure. and then the varied background and expertise of all the board members that we have in the collaborative because there's a lot of talent oh, there. Oh my goodness, I, I, I don't know why they asked me to be on the board, honestly, um, way back when, but uh, my background, 30 years in the nonprofit sector here in Indian River County, um, born and raised in Vero Beach. So being a part of this and having three nieces who have grown up in the in the school district um, and myself and my sister having received our education here, this is critically important. But what drove me to Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative was becoming aware that there are children that don't have the same opportunities that my family did. And that's just not acceptable. And so being a part of Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative has allowed me the opportunity to have some impact in that area. Not being a teacher, not being in the education system, perhaps I bring something different to the table because as you mentioned, it is a diverse group of board of directors, many of whom have been there since day one. And so the commitment level from these professionals who are busy with their own um, organizations working at the school district, working at United Way, um, leading other efforts. For us to come together and set aside our logos and our egos at the door and really talk about what's best for our local children and, and our families has been very fulfilling. Carrie, and you also bring a unique set of skills. You work with a lot of nonprofits around strategic planning right. and collective impact. And that's also important to, to give direction to any new organization mm -hmm. like the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. Right. You, well, you mentioned collective impact. And so that is something that has I've learned an awful lot about being on this board in that it is not about KRC. It's about the work that's being done and KRC is the convener of that work. It is the connector, connecting those families to those resources in town, um, providing services where they are, making sure we're not providing the services, but there are services there in their communities that have been a focus area for us. And so that collective impact, that one common purpose, getting children ready to succeed when they hit kindergarten has elevated, I believe, the early learning sector here in Indian River County beyond any wildest dreams. So I think that connects to the concept of a collaborative. And a lot of people 
um, sort of struggle with this whole concept of we do, yes. collaborative here mm -hmm. at the local level. So what does it mean to be a collaborative, particularly for the kindergarten readiness? Right. The Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative is, if you will, the backbone organization. So we provide that support for these 40 plus partners who are working in their individual spaces with their respective missions. But how do those missions align with early learning and getting children ready for kindergarten? And helping our families understand what's out in the community is a huge part of what Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative does, that connection, um, providing the advocacy. So we as a neutral third party, if you will, can go and talk about early learning and we're not associated with any one organization. We have 40 partners that we're working side by side with every day, ensuring that they are working toward this common purpose while still um, being true and owning their own respective missions. So there's certainly strength in numbers, and it seems that everybody coalesces around this common goal. In our case, it's it's kindergarten readiness. Absolutely. Are there any other local collaboratives that our audience should be aware of? One that has been very, very successful is the Mental Health Collaborative, started uh, 10 plus years ago. Same concept, bringing together all the organizations, the uh, providers, the other partners um, who are working in the mental health space and making sure that there is access, that there are best practices out there, that there are resources for people to turn to, and elevating the understanding of the need for good mental health and people taking care of themselves, which plays into kindergarten readiness as well. It, there's a lot of um, symbiosis there between the mental health side and making sure that children feel safe and secure, parents are doing what they should be doing, um, leading to kindergarten readiness. But the Mental Health Collaborative is an excellent example that we look to to see what they're doing and how they're navigating the very um, sometimes unclear waters of a collaborative. Carrie, we're gonna take a quick break to hear from our sponsors and we will be right back. For laser vision correction, general ophthalmology, glaucoma, and eyelid surgery, trust board-certified, fellowship-trained refractive surgeon Dr. David J. O'Brien at New Vision Eye Center. His practice includes the medical and surgical management of corneal disease and refractive surgery, including eczema laser vision correction. Call New Vision Eye Center for a consultation or second opinion. Your eyesight deserves world-class eye care. Visit newvisioneyecenter.com or call 772-257-8700. Tom Rhodes here, owner of the Sparkling Clean Sunshine Laundries. Summer is here. I don't know about your family, but we're changing clothes a lot more with this heat. And the pile of laundry gets higher and higher. If this is you too, bring your laundry to Sunshine Laundries. Lots of big load machines to make washing and drying happen much faster. Have you ever been to a laundry where the dryers just didn't dry? I bet you have, and you weren't happy. Well, at Sunshine Laundries, our dryers start hot, stay hot, and dry fast. Check us out at sunshinelaundries.com. The United Way of Indian River County's Day of Caring event, proudly presented by Publix, is scheduled for Saturday, September 8th, 8 a.m. till noon. You can join this ever-growing group of United Way volunteers to help complete a wide variety of projects for Indian River County nonprofits. This is a team-building opportunity for your workplace, church, or school group. We have projects for all types of skills and abilities, so we need you. Put together a dynamic team or volunteer individually to help complete one of the awesome projects we have waiting for you this year. Show your love for Indian River County and register to volunteer today. For more information, go online to unitedwayirc.org forward slash day of caring. But hurry, the deadline for volunteer registration is Friday, August 17th. Go to unitedwayirc.org forward slash day of caring or call 772-567-8900. That's 772-567-8900. And let's all live united. For more than united. 160 years, PNC has been committed to providing their clients with great service and powerful financial expertise to help them meet their financial goals. The PNC Foundation, which receives its principal funding from the PNC Financial Services Group, actively supports organizations that provide services for the benefit of communities 
in which it has significant presence. The Foundation focuses its philanthropic mission on early childhood education and community and economic development, which includes arts and culture. Through Grow Up Great, its signature cause that began in 2004, PNC has created a bilingual 350 million multi-year initiative to help prepare children from birth to age five for success in school and life. For more information, go to pncgrowupgreat.com. We are back to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, also known as KRC. With me here in the studio today is Carrie Bartlett, one of the founding board members of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. Carrie, thank you for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank you. Right before the break, we were talking about the significance of a collaborative, mm -hmm. and you were sharing some examples about collaboratives here in Indian River County. What specific roles does KRC play in the community as a collaborative? Sure. The board has focused in three very specific areas. There's a lot that we could be doing. We have long, deep, strategic conversations, but at the end of the day, our mission revolves around being a clearinghouse, a connector, and an advocate for the kindergarten readiness sector in Indian River County. Clearinghouse, we have visited many um, regional, national sites um, that are best practices and brought some of that information back to our community, shared it with our partners, and helped them, if applicable, understand how it might be made situationally relevant here in our community. Not taking something that we learned about elsewhere and replicating it perfectly here, but what does our community need using some of these best practices that we learned? The connector is exactly what it sounds like, making sure that all interested parties in kindergarten readiness, in that early learning sector, um, are connected, families, local and national partners, uh, policymakers, funders, exchanging ideas, um, making sure that we're not operating in silos, that we are indeed connected across the sectors. And then finally, advocate. Um, we spend an, a lot of time, very, very good time, ensuring that our community understands, like we're doing today, the importance of kindergarten readiness and working with local government officials for them to understand um, what the best early learning solutions might be for Indian River County. Carrie, those roles sound like very important and significant roles, particularly if we want to address that percentage that you mentioned at the beginning of kindergartners who are not necessarily ready mm -hmm. for success and they're not ready for kindergarten. Um, can you talk a little bit about any initiatives or particular um, events that KRC might have in the community where you see this clearinghouse, this connector, mm -hmm. and this advocacy role come into play? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, each February, um, annually, we work to host with hundreds of other uh, partners in the community uh, a pre-kindergarten party and roundup where we have all the services that a family might need for pre-K and for kindergarten, getting their children ready, whether it's immunizations, registration for school, daycare, aftercare, um, it, out at the mall. And thousands of people come for that one day in February and the resources, that one-stop shopping, if you will, um, has just been fantastic. And the feedback and the the impact that we're making um, is tremendous there. So we're really pleased to be hosting that and providing that resource, not only for families, but for our partners. And then we do a really fun event in the fall, it's coming up on October the 6th, called Touch a Truck. And what a fun, family-filled, um, easy event for the entire family um, at, at a very nominal cost to come out and spend the morning playing, but also learning. And that's the beauty of a really good kindergarten readiness program is that kids think that they're playing, but what they're learning through that play is significant. And so we provide that um, with, again, sponsorships and partners 
um, that uh, is just a beautiful fall morning and, and early afternoon for families to enjoy. Carrie, I don't want to miss uh, the connection between kindergarten readiness and third grade right. because I think that's important. And you've you've talked mm-hmm. um, so much about that connection and that foundational piece and making sure that children are ready in terms of their cognitive development and social, emotional, mm-hmm. and the adaptive. But for our audience to understand, what is that relationship between kindergarten readiness and third grade? Right. It's that third grade is a pivotal point in a child's education. And up until third grade, you are learning to read. And after third grade, you're reading to learn. And so it's critical at that third grade level when they are leaving that, um, that portion of their education that they are ready to learn. What that means is that Children at kindergarten age, if they're not ready to succeed, they are half as likely to read well by the third grade. So 50%, if they are not on track at kindergarten, they will not be reading well on third grade. And that just escalates and snowballs as they move through their educational life. And so it's it's a critical point in a child's education, that third grade, it takes the lifetime of the child to get them ready for that that moment. Um, We also look at data about the power of words and the knowledge of the number of words that a family from a low socioeconomic um, situation come from is so much less than a family like perhaps I grew up in. And just not hearing those words, that dialogue, that conversation, that communication, again, another reason why our children aren't ready when they come to kindergarten. Carrie, that's really a powerful statement and certainly brings to light our need to really invest in early childhood development development and see this as a critical issue, particularly in our county. Absolutely. For those folks who want to learn more about the Kindergarten Mm -hmm. Readiness Collaborative, more information about us and how they can get involved, I know that we're going to bring up um, our website, but any final words that you might have for for folks? Absolutely. There are so many ways that people can plug in to Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. They can volunteer at our events. We are always in need of volunteers at the Kindergarten Roundup Party, as well as Touch a Truck. So I would encourage you to do that. Perhaps if you're not able to volunteer, you want to make a, a contribution to the collaborative. Um, that That is more than welcome as all. Um, so please go to our website, contact you. Um, we, we'd love, them have, love to have them. Carrie, thank you so much for taking the time to join us during this first edition My of pleasure. Moonshot Radio. And thank you for providing more information to our audience about the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative. Thank you. And until next time, this has been Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. Thank you for joining us.